Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. It's fight day. I uh, apologise, uh, the yeah. interview being doing, done now. I had to do Dom's yesterday and Liam's yesterday. Very all last minute because there was a few hiccups uh, during right. the week. We yeah. won't go into too much, but um, we're here now. Um, you and Liam sharing a bill together. Firstly, that must be a, a special thing for you. He's headlining. I know how close you are. Yeah, them. of course it is. Um, this is the second show I've done with Liam and um, where we've been together. And it's a good laugh, you know. Um, and obviously the training and the build up all to this, we've done it all of each other, we've ate with Dom for however many weeks together and um, we've basically been together and doing it all the way right to this so we've pushed each other on and now it's fight night now, all the hard work's done. Midway yesterday, near enough to my, the championship limit, 12 stone. Um, and now we're ready to rock with both made weight and now it's time to rock and roll. He says he's been uh, acting like a father figure to you. Uh, a father figure, yeah, something similar to that there effect. Um, you know what it is, it's a good laugh me and him. Because when we first ever come to the Ingle Gym, we both got on very well. Um, and obviously it's a bonus that we're both fighting on the same undercard. Um, and yeah, he's he's obviously the older one of the two, but it's a good laugh. Well ideally, uh, in about eight or nine hours, I'm speaking to you again after yep. another Willie Hutchinson win. And you watch uh, Liam That's in the main right. event. and. Uh, Probably his, his last fight at British title. Yeah, this will be his last fight at British title. I think I think he should be, after this fight, he'll be banging on for the world title. Um, whoever that will be against, I don't know. But uh, I believe that after this year fight, then he wants to go up and on and start challenging for the world title belt, yeah? Just see your opponent tonight walked in uh, into the hotel right, here. Yeah. Um, he boxed Sergio Martinez in his last fight. I only found that yesterday. Yeah, that's right, yeah. That's yeah. right. Um, he boxed him in his last fight, to be honest with you. I haven't watched it. Um, and really, I couldn't really care less. Fair enough. He'll be getting beat up tonight, and it's as simple as that. When do you think you'll be fighting for the British title, Willie? Really? When will I be fighting for the British? You never know. Maybe in December. I'm supposed to be fighting for a title in December, so anything can happen. Uh, just got to wait and see now. And um, God willing, tonight goes to plan and uh, beat this fella up, and I'll move on to the next. But the next one's supposed to be for a title, so there could be any chance. In the next couple of fights. You, you had a long layoff, of course, and then you, you have been active recently. Yeah. And if you're telling right. me you can get out in December again, yeah, that would be a again. really good end to the year for you. Yeah, of course it would. It would be a great end to the year, especially with all this craziness happening in the world. It would be good, but it's got to take fight by fight, get get through this one first today, um, and then we can talk about that after it. Do you know your ideal weight yet? 12 stone. So yeah. Middle weight. yeah. You, yeah. you, you happy at that? Yeah, I'm happy as Larry. I was only a pound over the championship weight limit yesterday. Um, so I made the weight easy, not a problem. Made the weight, and now it's carrying on from there. Do you think it'll be a, a while till you return to light heavyweight? Yeah, it'll be a few years anyway. Um, I'd like to win. God willing, everything goes to plan, and I keep my head down and do what I'm doing. I'd like to become the two-time world champion, super middleweight and light heavy. Do you feel like um, you've matured a lot? Obviously, life changed for you since getting yeah. married. About what a year ago now? Yeah, a year ago. A year ago this month. Has it uh, helped you in your career? Has it helped me in this in my career? You know, it's just all the same stuff, isn't it? It's it's just one of them things, really. It's just it never never really changed. Nothing really changed when I got married to now. You know what I mean? I'm the only thing that changed is a bit easier is that I'm living at the top of the gym now. I've got my own place, um, and I'm doing my thing there. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, it's good. Well, listen, uh, I don't want to keep you too long because you are fighting in about eight yeah, hours. That's um, right. Live on BT Sport, everyone tune yeah. in to see yourself and uh, uh, Liam Williams. A uh, yeah. big night for the Ingle Gym. And as I said, uh, maybe you get that, that British title shot in December, who knows? Who knows? Anything can happen, anything can happen. Um, you know what I mean? After this fight, God willing, like I said, to do what I do, I'll be hoping to bang on the door for the British title and, and stuff uh, next. Hopefully Liam comes through tonight as well and That's gets right. that world title shot next. That's right. Yeah, and hopefully two of us be on the... Hopefully I'm on his undercard and his world titles to shot as well. Yeah, that would be, be brilliant. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, best of luck to you yeah. and Liam tonight and we'll catch a word in about eight hours, right? That's right. Good man. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. 
And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.